Hey YouTube, this is Trep and we're back again. Uh, this is the first video I've done in multiple years and we're going to be back in a big way. We're going to put out content almost every day. Uh, I'm going to be here on the OU side of Pokemon Showdown Ladder. And this is the team I'm going to run with. Uh, first game, no this isn't, this is not the team. You guys a different team. That's a good team though. Um, this is actually my third attempt recording. Hopefully it works this time because I do not feel like doing it again. To be completely honest, um, this is the team that we're going to be using. Uh, it's a late game sweeping Metagross. He has huge stats, 700 base stat, that's his nickname. Um, and he has an agility, so it's a late game sweep. So he takes a hit, he can pretty much take any hit uh, outside of maybe Bandit or Earthplate, Earthquakes. Um, we have uh, Digress, the Keldeos, Calm Mind Secret Sword. Uh, 334 speed just to speed out Garchomp. Um, he can take a Vex Secret Sword very well. Uh, we also have a Life Orb Magic Guard Clefable. Um, this hits like a truck and people don't expect it. So we're trying to cop some kills with that. Peckerhead, the Choice Banded Talonflame. Um, I know I've been toying with the idea of using a setup Talonflame, but I really like the Choice Band set. Uh, it hits super hard. Oko's Latio, Latios and Latios. Um, here's the Choice Scarf, Excadrill, Last Ditch Spin. Also can be a late game sweeper. And the stop sign, the uh, stop stopping any sweeping uh, can use taunt. I don't know what to use for the fourth move, but taunt seems to be working okay. So this is the team. I've gotten up to 1,800 points with this team, so it's a very very well balanced team. Um, I have a lot of experience with it, so this is gonna be the first. You know, it's it, look at this OG background by the way. This this is what the original Pokemon Showdown used to be before uh, the most recent. Uh, I think it was XY when they changed to the Charizards, but we're gonna. We're gonna stick with a waterfall because that is the original background. Oh, so this is a real team. Um, I think obviously this is gonna be the lead. One of these two, probably to get off the choice scarf U turn. Uh, but what is a good bet? Let's go with. Oh, I don't even know. I want to try and get up my rocks to be honest. Throw on the timer. Um, Clefable can take a hit pretty well. It takes about 54%, which is ah. Oh, makes me want to go. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go this way. I think it's the most safe route. Obviously, um, if he decides to use lead a Rotom, I can get a huge hit, or I can just get on my rocks. To be honest, uh, so he's got a extra drill as well. Curious as whether it's scarf. We're gonna see pretty soon. That was my fancy hockey league. <laughs> so we're gonna pause and wait for him to pick a move. So we're back and uh, he never even showed up. He decided to forfeit based on time. It would have been an interesting matchup though because this is a real team, I like it. Uh, it's got some good balance to it, I think. And obviously you got some Stolly Mons. I really, uh, one of the most annoying Mons in the world is uh, gotta be that Talon Flame with Roost and Will-O-Wisp. It's, it's really hard to pinpoint what exactly can uh, break through a mon mons like that because of his priority roost. It, I mean, it's really just water types, uh, and the best water types, best water type in OU seems to be Keldeo. Um, but anyways, we've got a second match regardless, obviously, so this was a forfeit. Um, let's see, I mean, there's not a real obvious lead outside of Rotom or Heatran, so we're just gonna... Wow, actually, x Seems like a very cute lead, but I don't want to risk it, so we're just going to go with the safe lead of Clefable. He can take any hit, and that's an extremely good matchup. I think he's going to switch, so we're going to just go for Stealth Rock. There's no way he stays in on a, on a Clefable. Uh, for the most part, Clefables are pretty bulky, so even a Life Orb Psyshock is not going to do much more than 30-40% if it's a defensive Clefable, which most people run. Um, you don't really see the life orb Clefable, so that's that's part of the game plan is to really keep catch people off guard with that. So we're gonna wait for him to take a move. We'll pause it. Oh nope, he went straight for the Drake. Oh meteor. Um, uh, I t <laughs> can't explain that. I don't. What, why would he do that? Doesn't make any sense. Expecting Metagross. That's the only thing I can expect. Um, but we're gonna go for the. Okay, so he's gonna sack his Latios. Turn one. Um, that's fine with me. Uh, Life Orb Clefable is going to take that out. That's a modest Clefable, no doubt. 
Why are you so modest? Uh, so that's going to be one KO for Clefable, and we're already at five to six. Um, he obviously got rid of our rocks, which isn't a, like huge. Like hazards is really not a big deal to me. Um, it's more of and this is always a switch out. I don't care if he has these. I have the counter. Like, why do you SD there? It's beyond me. I have the counter. This is the ca this counters it. 100%. I'm just gonna secret sword. He's dead. Like, there's, there's, <laughs> hello? Like, he doesn't even really even have a switch in, like, Altardia, I guess? But he's, I mean, he's gonna take, I guess he resists it, but, I mean, he's still gonna die here. Like, why set up? There's, I just don't see the reason for trying to set up there. Um, there's no good reason. So yeah, he does go to Altaria. Uh, he's gonna take that, jeez. Well, Clefable's a very easy switch in here. Um, you know, sometimes I do, like, at the beginning, I used to like to just go ahead and go for the Moonblast, because it, or Fire, Flamethrower, to be honest. Um, I think Life Orb, Moonblast takes him out, I'm not sure, I don't remember. That did a ton. That did way more than I, what I was hoping. Uh, well, don't really have a switch in. So we're going to sack that all off. Now he doesn't have an earthquake resist, so we're just gonna go for earthquake. No way he stays on the you, right? Yes, this is this is a mega. If if he does, then we still have room in the back. But I'm just gonna go for earthquake because I'm expecting the Rotom to come out or the Heatran. Um, it could be balloon Heatran actually, because that would that would actually make a lot of sense with the way his team is built, um, because he doesn't really have an earth mold breaker earthquake resist, which would cause him a lot of troubles. So he's gonna switch out to Keldeo, the counter. Um, I don't know if this is a Scarf. Well, let's look at his team. Um, he doesn't look to have a Scarfer. Well, this could be a Scarfer, but it'd be more likely to be Keldeo. So, what would he go for here? tough because I absolutely want to save this right now absolutely because he, he will clean up at the end um I think thunders is pretty clean because this is this is really what thunders hydro pump gone um go Kelio because because Keldeo um I want to make the aggressive double That has to be specs, right? <sighs> Let's sub. Cause I don't know what he's getting. What is he doing? Okay. Okay. Perfect. That's good. Um. That's fine. Cause I really just want to get damage off on the throttle. That's big damage. That's good damage. I really like that. And what's his count? What's his? What's his switch in here? Like, hello? Body is gone. You sacked that already. That, that would have been the switch in for this Keldeo, but he went and sacked that turn one. Or not turn one, I guess it was turn two, but still. I don't know why he, why did he Draco Meteor first turn? That doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, the only the only thing that makes sense is if he was anticipating the Metagross switch in, but even then, it's not going to do that much damage. So out comes Altaria. Makes you think that he wants to set up. Let's go to Talonflame. Because really what I'm going to try and do is switch. We're going to pause it. We are back. Um, so he, he went ahead and went for the return. This was a pretty decent switch in. I think he switches here, doesn't he? What would he go for otherwise? There's He, has, he doesn't have a move. He's, oh, okay. I'm getting played like fiddle. Um, is he DDing? Yeah, extra drill's fine. Return, nice. Uh, does Earthquake kill? Let's just go for it. Let's go for the Earthquake. It's gonna do a lot, regardless. Um, I think, worst case scenario, Metagross still sweeps in the end. So, I think that's what we're gonna go for if this doesn't work out, because I really don't wanna deal with the Rotom Wash. <laughs> it's locked in on Iron Head. Absolutely not. Um, so he doesn't really have a switch in at this moment. 
I think Keldeo, if it is, that's Scarfer. In which case, I feel like sacking. Well, either way, I'm gonna go to Keldeo. Because, because Keldeo. So that looks to be specs, so I don't... That's gotta be specs, right? Um, I can't have him setting up. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually double the Talon Flame. Because if he stays in, that's fine. Uh, but I really don't want to be stuck with Keldeo out. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't want Keldeo out uh, with um, Altaria on the field. So, gone. That crit, I don't think mattered. I, I don't think it mattered, honestly. He's, he's talking... I don't think it mattered. Um, so this is looking to wrap up the game. Let's just go Kelio. Oh, if he... It'd be kind of annoying if he's still throwing here. Okay, well that's fine. Um, Scald, right? No, I'll see you It's everything, there's no... Uh, I don't have to worry about... Um, 100% gone. I guess he was hoping for the Scald. Um, so, okay, this is definitely his... This is definitely Specs. That's 100%. I don't believe them. I don't believe your bluff. Um, that's 100% Specs. I don't care if he switches out here, because I'm just going to sack this. Uh, so, that, so this did actually end up being his Scarf. Because um, there's no way. I have... I have the investment on my Keldeo, uh, so look, that's a lot. That's a three-hit KO. Same like that. So let's find out if he is in fact Specs, because this this is obviously his scarf, but I'm not speed 100%. Unless he hacked his scarf somehow, or I don't know. So this is gonna be a game one win, I think. We're, lo we're looking at a game one win. Let's see. Are you are you scarf? No, you aren't. I didn't think so. So good game, game to my opponent. Opponent. Uh, can we get one more? I'm gonna pause until we come back. We are back, and this is the team that we got. Uh, I see some UU mons, a couple of them. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and lead with the Fable because I think it gives us the best matchup. I don't care if he leads with um, his Scolipede, which I'm expecting, that or the Garchomp. Uh, is this Baton passing? I wouldn't doubt it if it's Baton passing. So Garchomp, we need it. Garchomp, not bad. Let's see if we can get a kill game. Turn one, no, he's gonna smartly change the Scolipede. Takes a ton. Um, I'm honestly not feeling fear. Oh, okay. Uh, pfft, scary, 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 scary. Just go for the flamethrower. I don't know what he wants to do here. He is in fact okay. Because when you usually see. Um, set up Scolipedes like this. It's usually a uh, <clears throat> Life Orb variant. So this is not what I was expecting. Um, he has no form of... Well, actually does. That's hazard control 100%. I think he switches out here, right? If not, it's a slow U-turn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. Um, because we can just get a kill right now. Uh, if he goes into... Sage Lift, that's his best play. But I am going for Earthquake because it doesn't kill. Hello? Come on. Okay, so now he absolutely is going to Sage Lift, right? Either way, I think Thunderous is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go in T Bolt. Uh, T Bolt, no. T Bolt, no. That Mammoth Swine is just lurking in the back. It's a threat. Threat and a half. Um, also, Sigilif is always a threat. Let's go for HP Ice, because it hits both. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty obvious. That did zero. Makes me think he's a Solvest? Hello? Let's go to Keldeo, because I think that's okay. That's gotta be a Solvest, right? What does he go into here, by the way? I think he has something to switch into. Let's just Scald then. Let's see what happens with the Scald. Um, 
nothing appreciates it. I th I'm not sure how much. Okay, gone. Maybe not sold it. I don't know. That's hard. It's hard to say because this is a crit. Um, so we're subbing because it's the Yancy and he's gonna protect. 100%. That's what they do. If he doesn't, then I just got played, and he will outspeed me, and I'll have trouble with it. Yeah. So there's that. Um, let's go ahead and scald. I'm not sure how much it's probably not gonna do enough. Why would he not mega? Okay, so now he megas and dies. He should have protected and mega. This is looking like a wrap already, to be honest. Yeah, he says a misclick. Happens, buddy. Um, we're not letting this set up. Nope, nope, nope. No. I'm gonna skull first turn. Stop! I hate this. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I was gonna switch out, but. Let's taunt. Because A, I don't want him burning me, B, I don't want him roosting. See, I don't want him setting up anymore. Gone. Those boosts did not even matter. So, yeah. We're gonna HP ice right now. I don't even care. I don't care what your guard chomp is. Or HP icing. Scarf. <laughs> that's great. That's that's good stuff. Um, but I think it's just about game at this point. Wait, why did what? Hello? What am I doing? Okay, I didn't want that mod apparently. <clears throat> That's agility up first turn. 20% did zero. Let's go ahead and meteor mash because I expect the switch out. Yep, the sack. That's why I figured. Let's get a boost. No boost. Do we do it? Do we risk it? We don't play no games. Oh, Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> we live in boys. <laughs> we live in boys? Alright. So. I think we still win. I think. This is hard to say. Well, we got Talon Flame in the back. That was risky as all get out. Who cares? This, this is what we're doing. This is what we're, what we're here for. We're here to make moves. We're here to make games. And that's, that's a KO. That's a KO. Good game. Good game. Not bad. Alright, so we got another win. Um, this is going to wrap up the video. Uh, if you liked it, then go ahead and subscribe, rate, comment, you know, the whole nine yards. I don't have to tell you that. I don't have to remind you that. You guys have heard it a million times from other YouTubers. But this is going to be, um, it's going to be fun. Uh, thanks, man. Going on YouTube. Want the team? Um, a booty licious. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be nice to this guy. He was he was cool about it. And okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot this guy the team. Uh, but I'm gonna wrap up the video right now. Uh, you know, you know the whole nine yards. I I'm excited to be back on YouTube and be. One sec. And just be sitting tight for uh, more content. I can't wait. Uh, so I'll check you guys later. Bye.